So now that we've downloaded the file, uh, every time you download this uh, .sar file, you need to actually launch them. So I'm going to click on the one that say APS development .sar. By clicking on it, it's going to ask you if you want to install it. Do you want to add certificate from the APS that's with the keychain? So I'm going to click on add. As you can see, it's added it to the login. And then I'm going to click on the one that say APS.SAR, which is for the... Um, if you don't get this screen, it might install it automatically without asking you, I think. But um, I think sometimes I don't get this screen. But uh, just be assured that as soon as you click on the file, it will add. So now it's been added to our keychain access. So now we have that screen here. Right now we are under the all items. So what we want to do is we want to go to the certificate and you can see the one that we just generated. Let's look uh, for them. So this one say push notification app at the end. This one also say push notification app at the end. So these are the two that we just added. So in order to generate the P12 for the development, right click on it and click on export. You can see that the file format will be a dot p12 file so what you should do i'll say this one i'll say dev which is development certificate uh, let's save it to the desktop and then click on save it will ask you to provide a password this path uh, this password will be used to protect the file but we don't want to protect it so just click on ok that means you don't want to protect the password you don't want to provide a password and then it's going to ask you your own computer a password to access your machine in order to generate this so put your machine password and just click on always allow and then it's going to save it let's do the same thing for the push notification app for the this is the production right click export uh, save it to the desktop I'm going to call this one prod which is for the production certificate make sure it's a p2 file it's important to make sure that it's a p2 file and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So save to desktop, ask for password, no password, just click on OK, and it's going to be done. If you are on the all items and you try to generate the, if, if you try to export from the all items, notice that it doesn't, the file format is not a P12, it's a dot .sar. So make sure that you're doing it from the certificate screen, okay? This is the only way you're going to get it .p12. Okay, so now we have the p12 file for the production. In the next lesson, we're going to upload that to OneSignal. Thank you.